so much for giving me the opportunity to present. I am Pujal Panchal, a senior dietitian at Edmo Clinic. I am excited to share the insights on a low carbohydrate diet on glycemic status and fatty liver index. This is the brief idea what I will cover today. Uh, so we know that obesity and uh, diabetes are closely, uh, closely linked to each other where India has become the capital of diabetes affect, affecting both urban and rural areas. We also know that obesity and fatty liver are connected. Uh, one common factor that affects uh, these conditions is a life, uh, high carbohydrate diet typically uh, consumed by Indians where 60 to 70 percent of total calorie consumption comes from carbohydrate. We know that even a small amount of weight reduction of about 5 to 10 percent can prevent type 2 diabetes and nephil, whereas 15 percent of weight reduction can uh, improve type 2 diabetes, CV mortality and HFPAP. With this in mind, we decided to study all of our patients who came to the clinic for weight reduction. Excluded criteria were pregnant and lactating mothers, uh, anyone having uncontrolled, HB, uh, uncontrolled diabetes, more than HB1 is 7.5 percent and anyone with renal or liver problems. So our uh, primary objectives were change in weight, change in glycemic status, change in fatty liver index. The secondary objectives focused on change in anthropometric measurements such as waist circumference and other metabolic parameters like lipid profile and blood pressure. Uh, for statistical analysis, we used t-test. Uh, so just like the start study, our population was also consuming 60% of total calories from carbohydrate. Uh, so this is the study design. At the baseline, all the participants underwent of all the anthropometrics, uh, HbA1c and fasting blood sugar testing and fatty liver index calculation. For the first two weeks, they were enrolled to an isocaloric moderate carbohydrate diet. Once they were more comfortable with the plan, we shifted them to a hypocaloric, low carbohydrate diet where the carbohydrate was less than 150 grams. I am aware that ADA defines low carb as less than 130 gram of carbs, but we, uh, we allowed them to consume up to 150 gram of carbs considering their dietary pattern. The protein intake was 0.8 to 1 gram per kilogram of body weight. This continued for 12 weeks with weekly or fortnightly interventions with, di uh, with dietitians for monitoring. After three weeks, uh, three, week, uh, three months, all the participants underwent the same uh, measurements as the baseline. So this is how we uh, uh, this is how we designed the calorie distribution. Uh, the what what did uh, what did we find is change in weight from 99.4 kgs to 90.6 kgs. Waist circumference dropped from 113 cm to 105 cm and BMI dropped from 36 to 32.4 kg per meter square. Uh, so on average the percentage weight reduction was 8.78% where a mean weight reduction was 8.73 kgs. This shows that most of our patients had more than 5% of weight reduction which I mentioned earlier is required uh, for improving your fatty liver and reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes. 36% of our patients had 10% of weight reduction by just reducing calories and carbohydrate. We also saw the changes in fasting blood sugar from 124 to 100 uh, mg per dl and HbA1c dropped from 6.7 to 5.7. Uh, this shows the significant changes in glycemic parameters. We also saw the changes in fatty liver index from 84.9 to 68.9. GGT dropped down from 34 to 23. Although we do not have the ultrasounds of all of our patients, but this data significantly shows the improvement in metabolic liver disease. We saw the changes in blood pressure and lipid profile, which are the key factors in metabolic uh, syndrome. Uh, this, are, this is the uh, uh, result in, in which we also saw the change in HOMA IR. In conclusion, uh, in conclusion, low carbohydrate intervention done in real world improved HbA1c, fasting blood sugar, fatty liver index and other markers of CV risk. Uh, this, uh, this, practice is, uh, uh, this practice is effective and economical. What worked most probably we think carbohydrate reduction and weight loss uh, help to improve the type 2 diabetes. Although we did not have the controlled arm, which made it difficult to compare the outcomes. Also, we need larger studies with more controlled environment for the better results. Thank you. I think you have